Hi, I'm Ray Allegresa, Editor-in-Chief of Furniture. Today we're live at the Las Vegas market. I'm here at Angelo Home, uh, which is encased in the Handy Living showroom. And I'm here with Angelo Somerlis, my good friend. And I want to talk to him a little bit about the incredible evolution of his company. So Angelo, it wasn't that long ago that you and I bumped into each other in the hallways of the Vegas market a number of years back. And I, I recognized you and I said, aren't you Angelo Somerlis? And you said, yes, I am. And I said, what are you doing? I admitted to it, didn't you I? You did, you I admitted. Did, I did, I did. And you said, you know, I'm looking for opportunity. And in that short period of time, you've made the transition really kind of from t TV celebrity, which you still are, of course, to a, a mainstay of this industry, bringing incredible fashion and fabric and, and great prices. What opportunities did you see? And really, what prompted you to come over to the this side of the fence. Thank you, first of all, very much. And it's been a fantastic relationship that we've had. And it's because of that kind of stuff that made me excited about furniture. I've always been a furniture geek. I love furniture, but I've always approached it from a consumer standpoint, essentially, because I'm in the design world and I had clients. And so I always looked at furniture as a means to an end to them having this beautiful house or the house of their dreams or the room of their dreams. And I was never on the manufacturing side. Um, and I'm the kind of guy who loves working with his hands. I love getting in there, I love getting dirty. And I loved the idea of seeing the other side of the business. So what did you see in, when, as you got in, what was your biggest surprise? Pleasant and unpleasant, maybe. The pleasant surprise was how how receptive everybody was and how I was received and how many people came out to sort of help me find my way, which I thought, well, this is, this is awesome because that doesn't necessarily happen always in the world of television. <laughs> it's a little different in TV. But the thing that was where I thought there was still opportunity was that we as an industry do not respond as quickly as, say, fashion or technology or or even nowadays automotive. There's so many other industries that are responding to not only where the consumer is, but where they're going to be. And I feel like in our industry, if we find something that works, we're like a dog with a bone. We really stick with it. I never wanted us to look at you know a, a product that was doing really well and we thought, well, you know what? We've nailed this one. Let's move on. So that was the biggest surprise is that we weren't as an industry innovating fast enough. And what about biggest surprise that might have been a little sobering or kind of like a, the aha moment? Yeah. Um, for me, you know, the, the part that was really difficult and still is to this day is I am not a very patient man. <laughs> I love things to just move at the speed of light. And we as an industry don't do that. We are, we're, we're a little slower. And part of it is built into the nature of furniture. You know, you can't build furniture as quickly as you can put together a blouse. You've got partnerships now with some pretty heavy hitters. We've been really, really lucky. We have had fantastic relationships with retailers that have embraced what we do. Uh, people like Nebraska Furniture Mart, Moore, RC Willie. You know, we're setting up at places like uh, Jordan's and Home, and we are dealing with the top, you know, top 100 retailers. And again, I didn't go into this industry thinking that's what I was going to do. I sat down and said, I want to make everything that I love about furniture attainable for everybody. I want them to keep coming back to the store to see what's new and what's fresh. So that was, was and still is my goal. And I think the reason that we've resonated so well with these retailers is because they got just as excited as I did about what we can bring the consumer. And so I always look at these partnerships as really true partnerships. We don't just do business. We're friends and we really listen to each other and grow the business in a way that I think our customer gets excited when they walk into the store. You know, one of, one of the real mainstays of success is by the time your competitors figure out where you are and try to replicate it, you're already two steps ahead. Yeah. So without giving away the trade secrets, because I know you told me <laughs> last time you'd have to kill me. I am going to have to kill you. What's on the horizon? What do you got up your sleeve? You know, I, I said this to you early on that you said, what do you want to do with Angela Home? And I said, if it lives in your home, I want to be a part of it. You know, if it's in your home, from front of home to back of home to outside of your home, because that's the way that I get excited about stuff in our home. So. For, for me personally, it's about growing the line. They're not just looking for product, they're looking for the story that we're telling. And I think that that's what's really resonating. Well, they say retail is a good story and you've got a good story. And I love retail. I'm a retail junkie, so I feel, I feel unbelievably fortunate to be able to be doing something that is every day a goosebump moment for me. I get excited every day when I go to work. Excellent, always good to see you. Always, thank you so much. Thank you. A pleasure.